Hello, good evening. Welcome to our channel, Kyushi Talks. And today we are talking about Donald Trump, who sues Truth Social co-founders by saying that they are not entitled to stock shares. We'll find out what is the real reason behind it. Let's get started. Former President Donald Trump has sued the co-founders of Truth Social, alleging that they mismanaged the social media platform early on and should therefore lose their stock in the company which recently went public. In papers filed last week in Florida State Court, Trump Media and Technology Group Corporation argued that executive Wes Moss and Andy Litinsky made a series of costly mistakes that resulted in a long delay in the company's going public and urged a judge to strip them of their shares in the company. The pair who were contestant on Trump's NBC show, The Apparentist, had pitched him on the idea of Truth Social after he was banned from what was then known as Twitter following the January 6, 2021 attack on the Capitol. This was a phenomenal opportunity for Moss and Litinsky, the suit says, adding that they were both riding President Trump's coattails. Without President Trump, the Truth Social uh, app wouldn't have been impossible, would have been impossible. The filing said the lawsuit first reported by Bloomberg said Moss and Litinsky were tasked with establishing corporate governance for the new company and finding a special purpose acquisition company that could take the new company public and fuel it with cash. It claimed that they failed at both these tasks. The suit was filed on March 24th after shareholders in Digital World Acquisition Corp voted to merge with Trump Media and Technology Group, which is now called Trump Media, and Trump is the majority shareholder. Moss and Litinsky sued Trump's company in Delaware, a uh, court alleging that he was trying to dilute their shares by increasing the total number of authorized shares in the firm from 120 million to 1 billion. Trump media shares started trading March 26th, and at one point the stock price exceeded $79. It has fallen since then, closing at $51.60 on Tuesday. The decline came after the company reported a net loss of $58.2 million on revenue of $4.1 million in 2023. That's all we have in today's video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day ahead. Bye bye.